Hi, my friends. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Makeup University. I'm Sherilyn. Ooh, where am I? Mm, different, different, different. Hey, this video is many things, and it is our Resolve Tuesday video, even though I've missed some weeks. Oh, my God. Mm, girl, I've missed some weeks. I've missed you guys. I missed making videos. I have had debilitating dizziness. Uh, Went to the hospital, emergency room, every test imaginable, uh, CT scan on the brain, everything came back negative. Thank God for that. Oh wait, before I tell the story, thank you for being here. If it's your first time, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Subscribe, ding the bell, hit all the buttons. And this Resolve Tuesday is about resolve to try something new, something so out of your comfort zone and uh, this full circle of resolve to try something new for your health. So I have low thyroid. It wasn't that. I thought that it was because it started February 3rd. Exactly. I know that day. I woke up one morning, February 3rd, and all of a sudden I was so dizzy, so nauseous, everything that comes with nausea. I couldn't hold down any food, couldn't walk. Couldn't drive, couldn't stand up to cook. I just, oh, it was debilitating. And as a parent, it was like, oh, thank God Grandma Grandpa could help because um, I was done. So I can't explain it other than if you have ever been on Disneyland's teacups or the Tilt-A-Whirl at the local fair, it felt like that all the time. It was awful. It right now is... I'm gonna go with at least 80% better. I am not 100%, but I'm getting there. And I had resolved this year, I'm like, oh, I'm really gonna up my fitness game. True story, I've not had a pop, no Coke Zero since February 3rd. <laughs> I don't think that that's what caused it, but I don't know what caused it. And the doctor was like, oh, you must have an inner ear infection. Nope, I don't. And then the best they could come up with was they called it BBPV, something crazy. And um, they're like, it's just sudden onset vertigo. Great. They did give me a medicine to take for nausea and a medicine to take for the dizziness. The challenge is it was a total lobotomy. It was a coma of sleep. So yes, the medicine helped. It didn't fix it or cure it, but it helped but I can't keep taking it because um, literally I'll take get up take the pill and then need to go right back to bed so oh and let me address the eye can you see that <sighs> which is where I'm at I am actually I'm in the greater Los Angeles area I'm in Studio City I'm getting ready to pull out and head for home in Arizona but I came here for the Oscars and I was here with the Producers Guild of America and so a uh, little bit more on that and in the next video. But this video, uh, not to talk about my dizzy, but to show you some things that we're gonna be trying new and that are going to help, I think, overall wellness. I was just like praying for a total health reboot. So I got some, oh, that's the other thing. Uh, in my little area, we don't have a Trader Joe's. And when I lived in the big city, I love Trader Joe's. I go all the time. We don't have one. I have to go to Vegas for Chick-fil-A and for Trader Joe's. So I got some milk thistle. I've used this before. This is to help um, support your liver. And I kept thinking, oh my gosh, maybe I'm just so, my liver's full. Oh, and just so you know, um, that free champagne didn't get me last night at the Oscars party. <laughs> So we're gonna taste these. This is a broccoli floret, crispy, crunchy. Let me open those. So why these? In oh, in my world, broccoli is my most favorite vegetable. I could eat broccoli every single day. I could eat it raw. Oh, here we go. Broccoli, this is from Trader Joe's. Look at that. Oh, that's fabulous. Product of Thailand. Mmm. Broccoli palm oil. Oh my gosh. I wish I would have saw that palm oil before I bought this. Don't use palm oil. Orangutans have nowhere to live. 
you cannot replace the palm tree as fast as they're taking it down. So boo, does it taste good? Yes, boo, palm oil, beets. So they thought, oh, you have a history of heart attack in your family. Um, maybe it's a heart. No, they did all the heart tests. This is beets. In my entire life, I would never voluntarily eat a beet. This is a product of Mexico. Oh, that's fabulous. Whoa. This is really good. I am, excuse me, pushing to eat the medicine naturally, not take a medicine. I did get these little fruit strips, but those are for my son. He's like, oh, mama, get the swag. I'm like, oh, it wasn't that kind of event. There wasn't any swag. Um, I picked up the matcha. I am a coffee lover. I love coffee. I drink coffee. I love coffee. Almost as much as I love wine. I have not had any wine, any pop, any anything. I did still have a little bit of coffee each morning because my body's so trained to it. So I had to. But I think I'm going to try and switch out. The matcha is still like a morning stimulant, like caffeine. Like, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. But I think this might be a healthier choice. So I use espresso now. I'm going to switch to that this week. And then, um, oh, I got these for my dog. Because, you know, my dog. And then I have been watching. These are raw pumpkin seeds. Let me open up these. Oh, it doesn't have a notch. Okay, here it goes. Oh. Um, I have been watching Dr. Melissa on YouTube. I'm telling you. YouTube can be so good in some ways and not good in other ways, but Dr. Melissa's channel, she's a naturopath, ear, nose, and throat doctor, and she just had so many, she really was my go-to source for figuring out more about the vertigo, and she was saying to help your overall health improve, to work in, can you see that? Let me, seeds. So let's have some of these, these are the raw. Um, <laughs> definitely could use some salt because of all the health scare. Cut my salt way down. Normally in my life, salt is not salty enough. But health scare, baby. I have to cut salt. I don't think I would cut it out totally. Now we're going to do these raw Brazilian nuts. Why the raw? Because I uh, just wanted it in its most basic form. So let me open this up. Oh, I pulled a little thing, and it didn't do the rip. So here I am at the hotel. I'm getting ready to head home. I'm going to make a couple of stops on the way out, but i got to get back. got a little cub. This is mama. Okay, Dr. Melissa said, and especially this is for my thyroid girls, to eat three raw Brazil nuts right there. Eat three of these per day. Yeah, meaty. So I knew about the Brazil nut for vegetarian protein. I was vegetarian for a lifetime before I had my son. These have a very earthy flavor. Lots of crunch. Definitely fits in the category of nut meat. It's good. So anywho, resolve. Today's Resolve Tuesday. Actually, it's Monday. I'm getting ready to leave, but by the time I get home, upload this. It'll be Resolve Tuesday. I encourage you, resolve to try something new, even though you know you don't like it. I don't like beets, but I'm going to eat beets to fuel healthy heart, healthy blood. And actually, this little beet chip from Trader Joe's is really good. I'm giving these a thumb down. They're really delicious, but they're palm oil. We don't even do that. Watch Dr. Melissa. I'm going to put a link for her on how to add seeds to your daily like routine just for health. And then the Brazil nut. You can't see. I'm right in front of the window. I'm getting ready to pull out. Um, oh, I have one other thing. And we're going to have one other thing from Trader Joe's. And we'll review that tomorrow. Do you want to know now? Or should I make you wait? I'll make you wait. Okay. So I bet you know what it is too. If you do, let me know in the comments. Long story short, before this gets long. 
I just wanted to make sure that you resolved that if you get a health check, you guys, I had a health scare. I felt like I I can't even, I can't even live life like this. Like I was so dizzy. I couldn't look at my computer to edit and it just stopped all work. I actually missed work because of the dizzy because I can't stand up, can't drive. And it's better now. And I have another little solution that I tried, but I'm going to save that for another video. I saw the timer. It's getting long. Hey, everybody. <laughs> oh, and this shirt. Um, this is like a sleepy shirt that I got in the swag bag at Sundance. And it says, never settle. Never settle. And I felt like that's um, really important because I personally can't settle. I have all love and respect for doctors of traditional medicine. But I felt like it was putting a band-aid on the the illness to just take that medicine. So I'm thankful for the tests. Everything came back negative. Somehow I just have random vertigo and I'm working on healing it every day. I drove to California like this. 80% better. I want to get back to 100% because I just have so much to do. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Um, all of the snacks that I tried today, I got at Trader Joe's. Maybe Cub will review these for you. These are cool. PBJ bars. I love a PBJ. And then he loves fruit leathers. And I always want to make my own. But just the whole dehydrator and the time and blah, blah, blah. I don't get it done. Okay, this got long. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cheryl Lynn. Make sure you resolve to do something for your health. Even though you might not want to or it's not easy, simple, fun, or tasty, I highly encourage you go the extra mile for yourself because you're so worth it. Hey, I'm Cheryl Lynn. This is Makeup University. And remember, you look really gorgeous today.